What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I actually want to update you guys on the main floor of our fish room or our fish store, sorry. Um, there's been a few changes to the channel. I'm sure you've noticed. I've changed the name to Planted Aquaria. I actually want to balance out my plate and not try to run two YouTube channels in the future. Um, basically just keep everything in one in case customers later on decide to um, visit our YouTube page and want to see how the store is built. I want them to be able to see what we've done in the past and that'd be great if I just had one channel joined and combined. And another reason why is I'm sure most people won't want to go and follow along to two pages, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's the changes for the channel. Um, it's been pretty busy for us the past few weeks since my last video. Well, it's actually been one week, but we've been ordering a bunch of supplies in to sell. We only got majority, oh, sorry, we only got about 50% of it. Majority of it's still on the way and that won't be arriving until hopefully around May but I'm gonna show you guys around what we got now, show you the setup and etc. And I forgot to mention basically this view you see here is going to be for the plants at Aquaria how-tos and guides that we're going to be doing. Um, this is basically our cash register area, but I'm gonna be setting up some nice displays for YouTube. Um, displays as in like um, our logo, some products to show. I'm not too sure yet, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, now we can move on to the store tour. So basically, I want to show you guys what it looks like starting from outside and we're going to start from the outside. So you'll basically see our store. We're actually having window decals installed next week on the windows here on both sides, along with the door in the middle as well. And then when you enter, we have some glass aquariums for sale right now. Um, we're not ordering too much yet because we don't have room for them. But basically from five gallons all the way up to 20 liters, which is 30 gallons, I believe. It is 30 gallons, right? 20 liters? I'm not too sure. You guys can do the math, I'm sorry. We got our A-frame sign created for us from, from Vistaprint. I designed everything myself. Yeah, thank you guys, I know it's a, it's a great job, right? I think it looks good, what do you guys think? I mean, it matches with our logo and aesthetics and everything. Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know. What are you doing, buddy? What's going on? I want to show you guys our cash register area. I actually finished hooking up all the security cameras. So now we have four cameras, one on the main floor. Well, two on the main floor, sorry. And then two in the basement. Uh, I'm like right there, so it's kind of hard for you to see. And somewhere right here. That's where I am. You can see my hand waving. There you go. But yeah, that took a while. I had to, I wanted to make it look clean. So what I did was I bought some, I don't know what they're called, cord hiders, I believe, just to hide the wires and make it look minimal as possible with the security cameras. You can see that I looped one along the wall here, and that leads to the camera in that corner over there. And this one loops down to the basement. So not much people can notice. I mean, if they stare at that part, they'll be able to figure it out. But other than that, I try to make it look as minimal as possible. All right, moving on. My trans currently working on our plastic retail price tag holders. Um, we changed out our shelving here. If you guys watched the old videos, it used to be these shelves over here. And we decided to move one of them downstairs for the beta rack and hold some beta supplies down there in case people, you know, want to shop for their beta stuff at the same time while looking at betas. That'd be cool. We have all of our gravels down here. Well, exactly. Not, not all. We have a lot at the moment. Not a lot at the moment, some, but we have a lot more coming is what I meant to say. We're gonna have 25 pound bags beside the, these are five pounds, yeah? Five pound bags. Um, and we decided to bring in a brand called Estes or Estes over another brand called Carib Sea because these are all pre-washed. Um, you're paying the premium, but honestly, it saves you the time and trouble of literally washing all your gravel. And my can my trying can tell you how that was when we set up all of our aquarium tanks downstairs. Yeah, that, that's really true. So we 
we decided to go for a cheaper brand at first where we can buy 50 gallons of it and it was like cheap like it was like $42 for a 50 pound bag and then like the washing of the gravel was so annoying it's actually still not done the gravel is kind of dirty in the tanks downstairs um, but we're still going through the cycle of cleaning it every week so like cleaning the sponge filters out every single day siphoning the whole tank but there's always some sort of dirt left like I don't even it's know. kind of impossible so that's why we avoided carrying that brand because it's not pre-washed and saves you guys the headache of washing your own gravel. Moving on, we have our cascade tank almost set up. We decide to fill more gravel in just because we're gonna have potted plants later and they're gonna need to be able to stay inside the gravel or substrate without lifting. At the same time, we have our our dosages of plant fertilizers. I'm gonna set up an auto dosing system that leads the pump. The pump's gonna sit somewhere around here and then it's gonna pump the fertilizers automatically into the tank every day for us. And at the same time, we have the CO2 container here, cylinder, sorry. I'm waiting on an order from CO2 Art. For those of you that know that company, sorry, they're in Europe. They're a pretty amazing CO2 company for um, aquarium-based products. And yeah, I'm just waiting for their regulators and inline diffusers and everything before I set this bad boy up. That'll be a fun project. I'll probably film it too. Um, let me know what you guys think if, you, if that's something that's interesting for you. So we're almost done stocking up our gondola shelf here. There's still lots of other products to be stocked. Um, we're, again, we're waiting for a bunch of stuff Hopefully they're gonna come before May and that's give or take our estimated time frame to open. Um, we're hoping to open in May actually. Oh, I didn't tell you guys actually. So um, my province, Ontario, just released yesterday or two days ago from this video. Uh, what, what do they call it? A stay at home, stay at home order. And for the American viewers, that's basically like a lockdown. Um, and province is like equivalent to a state as well. So just so you guys know. You cannot buy anything besides food. You cannot buy anything besides groceries and food. So we can't even leave our houses to go shop anywhere if we wanted to. Everything's only curbside pickup. But fortunately um, for us, it kind of works out because it's a only 28 day stay at home order. And by the time that's over and everything's open again, hopefully we can I'm hoping we can do our grand opening, but it'll probably be really minimal because we can't have a lot of people inside anyways. Um, but yeah, back to the gondola shelving. We have our always filters on the top here. Uh, this section here is basically for your filtration. Uh, we have sponge filters too. We do have hang on back filters and stuff like that coming as well. But basically what you see here is all the filtration. And these are all the medias for the filtration as long as, um, as well as the test kits. You can see we have the API master freshwater master test kit here as well. Got some breeding nets. Uh, these are exciting. I want to talk about them in the future on our store channel or on this channel, actually. These are acrylic shrimp feeder tubes. And basically you just feed some, uh, you know what, I'll just show you guys real quick. So these are feeding tubes and it comes with a little tray at the bottom. They're basically for shrimp. You can stick them on the side of your glass aquarium and then you can feed the food down into the tube down here. It'll land somewhere in the tray at the bottom of the tube and that keeps your, basically your maintenance to a minimal when it comes to fish food at least or shrimp food because it doesn't spread everywhere, right? I'll put that back later. We got some fish food in stock as well. We are gonna be carrying Hikari, Omega One, some Fluval food brands, um, Extreme, Extreme, I don't know, Extreme Aquatics, I believe that's what they're called, or just Extreme Foods. And then my trend just mentioned Bug Bites as well. Got lots of driftwood, way more in stock at the back too. This piece is kind of one of my favorite pieces right now. You can do so much with this. And we're actually pricing all of our driftwood at a really reasonable price. 
it's gonna be basically eight cents a gram. And to give you guys an idea, this guy is probably like, I don't know, 80 grams max, 80, less than 100, right? So that's only like $8, right? $8. Seven, seven, six, eight cents a gram. That's almost 10 cents a gram. So if it's 80 grams, it'd be $8. A piece like this is 37 grams. So if you times that by eight cents, that's like four dollars. Something like that. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm not good at my math, guys. And last but not least, we have our hardscape setup area. We got some more rocks in, some Surya stone, dragon wood, and we have these guys. These are pretty cool too. They're all pre-made with holes in them. And I'm dropping dust everywhere too. What I got for the hardscape area was a rubberized floor mat in case people drop like rocks like that. You know, it'll just fall into the cracks. It won't mess up my floor too much. And again, we have the bio media. I think I've talked about this before. People can just fill your own bags. It'll be priced out later, but I'm pretty sure I made them for $2 for every 100 grams or something like that. Um, but yeah, got some boxes ready for people to bring home some rocks. So that's it guys, um, there's not much for this video. There will be exciting stuff next week. We're actually receiving a bunch of products I wanna be able to talk about and show you guys and demonstrate you guys how we're using them. But, oh yeah. And hopefully I have my employee just figuring out what plants he wants to start scaping this 90 gallon. We're gonna be in contact with Tropica soon. I mean, we are, are already in contact with them, but we're gonna be placing our first order with them to get some plants going on. It's gonna be super exciting, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. Um, like this video if you have, uh, I already forgot the thing. Okay, so that's it for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.